So Elon Musk has sent another rocket up. Not quite. He's paid to have another rocket sent up. Gwyn Shotwell actually sent it up. She's the boss of SpaceX who actually makes it all happen. And the launch was a great success. The rocket lasted four minutes before suffering rapid, unscheduled disassembly. Rudd, they call it. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, it's not a good thing, but four minutes before Rudd for a new rocket design is a significant success. Here's the team's reaction. Progress is good, and humanity will colonise Mars. The only quibble I have is calling it a starship. This is a starship. But the other thing of note is that this is the most powerful rocket ever made. More powerful than even the mighty Saturn V. So something as powerful as this must be really loud. I mean really loud. I could put a figure on this, and I will. But where you see figures on how loud anything is, most of them are made up. I mean estimated. I mean made up. And rarely, if ever, is the distance between sound source and measurement device given. So yes, Saturn V, 120 dB SPL at 1.5 kilometres, which I read fairly randomly off the internet. Well, there's the distance, but it's probably someone's memory from a long time ago. Still, I can believe it. 120 dB SPL is about as loud as anyone can tolerate. And you'd have to be deaf already to enjoy music this loud. Or the sound of your motorbike engine. SPL, sound pressure level. This is measured according to a reference point of 0 dB SPL, which is 20 micropascals of sound pressure. This is considered to be the quietest sound the average human can detect. 120 dB SPL is 120 decibels louder than that. So, at this point, an inquiring person is bound to wonder, what is the loudest sound? Not the loudest sound anyone can tolerate before it becomes painful, the actual loudest sound. Let me go back to 120 dB SPL. This is often considered to be the point where sound becomes uncomfortable. Somewhere between this and 140 dB SPL, the sound will become painful. Looking at the literature, and bearing in mind I'm not an audiologist, you can see that the louder the sound, the less time it takes to permanently damage your hearing. There will be a point where damage is instant. Going up in level, there will be a point where it will churn your intestines to mush. There will be a point where you can mix concrete. So what's the loudest sound then? 194 dB SPL. This is the loudest sound possible, and I'm pretty sure that the SpaceX Starship is capable of producing it, if you get close enough. So why no louder? Why can't we go to 1000 dB SPL? Well, it depends what you consider to be sound. At 194 dB SPL, the peaks of the sound wave are at twice normal atmospheric pressure, and the troughs are a vacuum. To put figures on this, Atmospheric pressure at sea level is 101.325 kilopascals. The peaks of the sound wave would therefore be at 202.65 kilopascals, and the troughs at zero. Now, figures. You can find various calculators around the web to convert dBSPL to pascals, and you will find slight differences. Let's not worry about that and keep Elon's starship at a very safe distance. 194 dB SPL is the loudest sound. But can we go louder than that? Louder than the loudest sound? Can we go up to 11? <laughs> well, yes we can, but it isn't really sound anymore. And yes, Starship can produce it. If the Saturn V, according to NASA, was measured at 204 dB SPL, then I'm pretty sure Starship can at least match it. Or you could measure a hydrogen bomb, or more likely calculate it, at 224 dB SPL. Or you could time travel back to the Tunguska event and experience 300 dB SPL, or Krakatoa at 310. That's as far as it goes, for now. This isn't really sound, though. It's a shockwave travelling in air. In sound, the air molecules vibrate backwards and forwards, otherwise going nowhere. If they move in a particular overall direction, it's a shock wave, or a wind. 
So, what's the moral of all of this? Well, use ear defenders when attending a rocket launch. Don't turn your music up too high for too long. Bear in mind that Krakatoa wasn't a supervolcano. There hasn't been one of those go off in more than 20,000 years. But when one does, see you soon.